Hello and welcome to Pristis. Today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Jules Hub Plus. I'm really, really excited for this and I'm going to tell you my first impressions upon opening it. I've actually never seen this stroller until this unboxing, but real quick, if you could just give this video a like, it helps me out more than you know, and this stroller is available at pristis.com. We'll have a link down below. Okay, so my first impressions of the Jules Hub Plus box is that it was very similar to the Jules Air, which we unboxed in one of our previous videos on our channel. I love that Jules has an environmentalist type of attitude in that they make their boxes turnable. You can turn it into something else. And the Jules Air, you can turn it into an airplane. And this one, the Jules Hub Plus, you can turn it into a bus. And my 10 year old will totally be doing that after this video. Upon first impression of the box, I love the way they include the user manual on the top and they also include a rain cover for the Jules Hub also. I love the way Jules always packs their manual inside their boxes. It's like cradled on top like that within a little cardboard cutout itself and it's the same with the Jules Air. And with the manual, of course, there's a registration card and you always wanna make sure you fill that out in case there is like a recall or something dangerous in the manufacturing that Jules doesn't know about. And there's the Jules Hub Plus manual. Do not throw this away, whatever you do. Through this unboxing experience, I had to go back to that manual about 30 times in figuring out how the stroller worked because I've never seen a Jules Hub or a Jules Hub Plus. This absolutely is my first time with with this type of stroller. Jules is known to be super, super luxe and a high end, but this stroller is, I don't wanna call it a beast of its own, but it's an animal of its own for sure. So in opening it, I really, as I was taking it out, I realized how heavy this stroller is. This thing is heavy duty and it's meant for like urban city living. So it makes sense that it would be so heavy duty. Look at how big the wheels are on that thing. That's another thing that I noticed with the Jules Air and like the Duna type of stroller, those wheels are smaller. Wheels this big usually mean that there's more of a suspension so that your baby's not gonna bump as much. It goes over little city bumps a lot easier, that usually means. Now this stroller is different than the Jules Air upon opening opening it in that the Jules Air came with like a red travel bag and you can see another video on my channel that shows that. This one just came in plastic, but it is a bigger, more heavy duty stroller. This one's meant to be like your staple stroller for home urban living, whereas the Air is more meant for travel, airplane travel. Like if you're going to Disneyland with your kid, I would personally take the Air. Be careful when taking off the plastic and all the, the little pieces around it. You don't want to cut any of the leatherette around it. And it's gorgeous, by the way. I believe that's leatherette because Jules is very environmental friendly in that way. All right, this thing I have to say is gorgeous. The materials on it are very, very high end. Like anybody seeing you stroll this thing down the street is like, what is that? It has that impact. Now, upon first impression of trying to open this, I noticed it was really heavy and I wasn't exactly sure how it opened. The Jules Air is one of those things that you can open it and close it with one hand. And I wasn't really expecting the same thing with this one, but I wasn't really sure upon opening it how it worked. And you're about to watch me fumble through that. So as I started expanding it, I was like, when does it stop? How do I do this? And I just kind of kept grabbing at things and as you can see here, which is probably what you'll end up doing also. Be really careful when cutting the bubble wrap. You don't wanna cut your second stroller handle there. Okay, and then you definitely wanna register your product within six months also for your warranty. And there's instructions in, in your stroller for that. All right, and trying to expand the stroller, I kinda just, you just kind of have to <laughs> be manly about it. It's heavy, but if you kind of fling the bottom half underneath it, it works well. There's a strap for you. Uh, I didn't really understand what that strap was for until I learned how to fold it back down, which took me a few minutes. First impressions of rolling it around, it is a super smooth ride. I could tell they put a lot of thought into the wheels. After playing with the stroller for a little bit, I finally figured out how to replace the handles. 
as your kid grows, I think it's really cool that they have four different levels of growth in there. Usually strollers have two or three. I've never seen one with four. Now the snaps come off the back there. And once they do, you can remove the pads or the pad locks into the back and you have to unlock them from the back and then remove it from the padding and then put it through another hole and then lock it in the back. And that took me a little bit of figuring out to do. So to remove the padding, I first removed the handlebar, the extra handlebar. And then in the back there, I pulled down the padding. And then to unlock it, you have to twist it. You have to be kind of rough with it and strong. It, it's not the easiest thing in the world to get through the padding or to thread through a new padding just because the material is so thick. So you can see me kind of struggling with it. I'm not a very strong person myself, so it took a little bit of uh, elbow grease, we'll call it. Okay, and then to lock it in, this was probably one of the most difficult parts. To lock it in, you have to put it in th while the um, little tab on the back is horizontal and then twist it vertical to actually lock it. And that, I found that very difficult to do. But this is like a one-time thing for a, a setup until your baby grows. And once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it. You can see here, I'm trying to show you close up how to do it, but my hands are getting in the way. So pushing it in is kind of difficult and then trying to twist it. I can, you kind of have to hold on to the back or other things to try to get it in to lock it. And then I realized I wasn't putting it in the right one either. And then once I put it in, I realized that the padding was folded on the wrong side. So I had to put it in a couple different times until the padding was on the correct side for the baby. Baby. Okay, and then once it was finally in, you just re-snap everything. But this actually proved to be much more difficult than I thought. You need a lot of elbow grease for this. The next time I have to change it, I will be asking my husband to redo the snaps for me because it was like physically, like you can actually see me physically shaking to try to redo the snaps. And each one of them seemed really, really difficult. Eventually I learned that instead of strength, like if you kind of move it back and forth over the snaps, it works better or it won't snap together again, but uh, eventually we figured it out. It took a minute, but keep that in mind. One of my favorite things about Jules, I have to say, is the four click seatbelt feature. And I love that each part of the stroller has its own dedicated space to click into, and it's just round and beautiful. I have a hard time with strollers. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's my coordination skills, but I have a hard time when strollers have, two pieces have to connect together and then connect in. And you're like, especially if these two don't dedicate Catedly click together. It's just difficult. So I love Jules's four click system. That's one of my favorite part about Jules strollers. It makes it so easy. So to put the brakes on, I'm just gonna move this up so that you can see it. With your foot, you simply push the brake down and then push the top of it to unlock it. It is a little bit difficult to see if your baby's feet are down, but it's right in the middle of the stroller. So you can easily feel it with your foot where the brake is and know which way to push. To fold the stroller back down again, you have to push these buttons on the side and then pull them up at the same time. And then you have to fold down the back part of the seat. And then there's this really cool handlebar that helps you fold the rest. And then you can make it stand up it will stand up. You just have to be really careful with it. Make sure it's in a good position. Overall, it's really great that it can be compact and folded up like this. One rookie mistake that I made was that the seat has to be forward facing, like facing you, the mom, in order to fold it like this. I had moved the seat around and couldn't figure out why it wasn't folding like this. So remember that if you get a Jules Hub Plus. But once you learn that, you only learn that once and then it, you're up and running. Okay, so this was actually my second attempt at unfolding the thing. The first time I actually thought maybe I did it wrong, but as I started unfolding it, I realized, no, it's pretty much the same process. You kind of just have to throw the back wheels back 
to get it set up. And then when you're ready to have your baby face the other way, maybe your baby is tired of looking at you. I know my baby sometimes gets tired of looking at me. You just fold everything up, the back and the front legs, and there is an actual little clicky thing, clicky thing, that's the technical term, handle, at the bottom that you just squeeze and it lifts off the stroller, you turn it around and it clicks right back on. And then there are these silver knobs on the side so that you can extend the handle. I absolutely love the Jules cover. If you're paying for anything with Jules, you are paying for the luxe looking Jules cover. And this is the sunshade version. You can unzip it to get to this version in case the sun is in your baby's eyes and fold down the little feet again. And I love that the sunshade version has a little peekaboo where you can actually watch your baby. All right, so I started rolling the stroller around for the dime test, I call it. Can you roll the entire stroller around with your hand on the handlebar? That kind of determines how big the stroller is. You absolutely can hang onto the handlebar and give it a full 360 with the air. This stroller is definitely larger than the air and the Duna. So you can't quite hold onto it the entire 360. Not like that's a huge thing. Not that you're going to be doing circles with your baby. And then this is the unsunshade <laughs> version version, which I think is absolutely beautiful as well. This is definitely a luxe stroller and I absolutely love that you can fold the back down all the way. Some strollers, I know the air, you could fold the back down a little bit also, but not down to this level. This is, your baby is almost lying flat with this level. Like grown-ups could take a nap with it folded down like this. Let's take a look at the wheels up close. The These really are the whole reason that the Jules Hub Plus is such a smooth ride for your baby. It is, these wheels are gorgeous. And I love the big wheels in the back because that's, you know, your baby's not gonna wake up from a nap with those wheels. And the basket underneath is absolutely gorgeous. Some strollers don't even have a basket. And I've just learned as a mom personally, I need the basket, especially if you have any type of four seasons, the baby needs a blanket. The baby doesn't need a blanket. The baby changes their mind you yourself are wearing a jacket then all of a sudden you get warm you just throw the jacket underneath I love that the basket underneath is so thought out that it even has the Jules logo on the bottom and it is beautiful material even on the bottom with the mesh also. And we just have to talk about these handles. This brown is the most beautiful leatherette. I believe it's leatherette that I have ever seen. It's definitely not leather because Jules wouldn't do leather. They're very eco-friendly. Something unique about this stroller also is the front locking wheels. Not front locking that it won't move but front locking in that the front wheels will only go forward and back once you lock it. You won't be able to turn the stroller side to side if you lock them. And that's unique. I haven't seen a stroller that does that yet. Overall, this is a really great stroller. My only complaint would be that the side knobs that you use to actually fold the stroller back up again stuck, but it, that could just be that it was on my stroller and not everybody else's. There is a definitely also a learning curve to this stroller, but that's why this stroller is so special. It folds a very unique way. It is definitely for urban living. And you can see here that I'm struggling to fold it up and it's because I made the rookie mistake and I hope you don't make this rookie mistake. I made the rookie mistake of making the seat backward facing when, and it will not fold up that way. You have to make the seat frontward facing, like facing mommy before it can fold all the way up. And you'll be able to see that I figured that out in a few minutes. And this is when I figure it out and you just fold the seat right back up and then grab the back seat and then you grab the handle on the back seat to lift up and turn it around. And it is a little bit heavy, so you gotta remember that kind of manhandle your stroller. It's definitely built for it. This stroller is built for bumps and all sorts of things. The way it is built, it is heavy duty. There is nothing that can't handle this stroller. This is not a weak stroller. There's a reason it's called the urban stroller. And now that it's folded, you it even has like a carrying strap. However, I noticed when trying to carry it with the carrying strap that it is quite heavy. So make sure that you have muscles or that your man has muscles 
Overall, my impression of the Jules Hub Plus, it is absolutely gorgeous, very well built and very thought out. And something I didn't even mention is that Jules itself has a patent pending padding for your kids. And I have never seen a seat for a child that is this comfortable. They also have the padding inside the air. I wish that they made adult seating with this padding. So your baby will be ultimately comfortable in this stroller, which is really important. So it's built well. Well, is it worth the price? Absolutely, I would say so. Just remember that there is a little bit of a learning curve and keep the manual. Don't forget it is available at Pristis. We are an authorized grateful reseller of jewels and I will see you guys in the next video.